This video brought to you by Loot Crate. Go to trylootcrate.com slash halocanon and use promo code BRIDGE10 to save 10% on a new subscription. Stick around to the end for more details. Welcome back, Canonites. Today we'll be taking a look at the end of Halo Wars 2 and how it could connect to Halo 6, as if the title of this video wasn't a massive giveaway. Now before we dive in, I want to clarify why I'm making this and address when my in-depth review of Halo Wars 2 is coming. Basically, at the moment, I'm waiting for the Phoenix logs to be updated. If you're unaware, the dates presented in certain logs are pretty wonky. As it stands, the Portal to Earth shut down in September 2558, the Banished arrived in October 2558, and Halo Wars 2 takes place in May 2559. Of course, that heavily conflicts with Isabel's statement that the Portal shut down five months before Halo Wars 2, with the Banished showing up four months before. 343 has acknowledged these issues and is going to issue a correction in the near future. Like I did with Halo 5, I want to cover both the main campaign and the bonus lore content, in this case, the Phoenix Logs. As they contain relevant lore info and the actual dates for certain key events, I'm waiting for them to be updated to start on a proper in-depth review. Hopefully they'll be updated soon, but for now, at least you know why I haven't started. I also want to take my time and gather my thoughts, but it's mainly the Phoenix Logs thing. Anyway, to keep you all somewhat satiated until then, I figured I could at least take a look at the very end of Halo Wars 2 and discuss how it might connect to Halo 6. So at the end of Halo Wars 2, Anders and Installation 04C are taken into slipspace, headed for the Soel system, the location of the original Installation 04. There, Anders hopes to drop a beacon, contact UNSC forces, and get help to the Ark. Funny thing is, had she succeeded, she would have likely been met by the human Sunghili fleet that is constantly patrolling that area. But as we know, she never makes it. An undisclosed amount of time later, a Guardian intercepts the ring, pulling it out of slipspace. So where does this leave us? Well, let's discuss the Halo 5 legendary ending first. Could this be Installation 04C that we're seeing? It's certainly possible, especially with Bonnie Ross's recent statement about wanting simpler stories in the games going forward. Why show us this ring and not have it be the replacement Alpha Halo in Halo Wars 2? Second question is, where are we in the legendary ending? My best guess, at the moment at least, is the Soel system, the ring's intended destination. I don't know why Cortana would bring it there rather than try to gain access to the Ark, but who knows. Maybe even with a Halo ring coming directly from the Ark, she still can't get there. Maybe the ring could have only been moved to another location after it reached Soel. Maybe there's some other random reason, who knows. But I hear you ask, why do I think it is Soel? There's really no definitive reason, but the planet behind the ring in Halo 5 does kind of look like Threshold's moon, Basis. The planet definitely isn't Threshold, since we can actually see crater marks on the surface, but Basis? Maybe. The only real problem is the scale of the planet seen. Halo rings are 10,000 kilometers in diameter, just a little smaller than the Earth's diameter. Basis is 23,848 kilometers in diameter, significantly larger, but this planet looks even more massive than Basis. You can see in this image how big Threshold, Basis, and Installation 04 are compared to each other, and the ring is still pretty big even next to Basis. Honestly, I can't say for sure whether the ring in Halo 5 is the ring from Halo Wars 2, it's just too early to say. Moving on though, let's get into real connections with Halo 6. Now, I don't think we'll be seeing the main Spirit crew show up. Unless the coming campaign DLC ends with Infinity showing up at the Ark, perhaps hoping to use it as a safe haven of sorts, I don't think the Spirit of Fire will properly rejoin the main storyline just yet. Professor Anders, on the other hand, I think is a guarantee to appear in Halo 6. I can see Cortana taking her hostage, perhaps using her to try and gain access to the Ark, or for some other purpose. And sometime during Halo 6, we discover her presence and have to save her. From there, I see two possibilities playing out. One, Anders tries to get Infinity to go to the Ark to help the Spirit of Fire. Or two, Anders reveals that she has allied with Cortana. Though I don't really see the second one happening, it would be interesting. Cortana certainly has the resources to take on Aatrox and help the Spirit of Fire. 343 could go a deal with the devil angle on that one. However, I would hope that Anders doesn't ally with Cortana. Not sure I see her as the type that wants to force peace at the barrel of a gun. Whatever the case is though, I just hope 343 shows Anders and Halsey confronting one another. Remember, they did not have a great relationship when Anders went missing in 2531, to put it mildly. From there, I can see Halo 6 ending with Infinity, maybe with some other human and some Songheili ships, departing for the Ark. 
This could be done with regular subspace drives, but I'd love if Halo 6 actually had a section where you were trying to find a portal to get to the Ark. Others exist out there, so it is possible. Anyway, as a post credit cinematic, the Infinity would arrive at the Ark, Lasky reaching out to the Spirit of Fire over comms. Static, at first, but then, a tune comes through. Ali Ali Oxen Free! The Chief approaches the comm station and says, in a great nod to classic Halo fiction, All out in the free, we're all free. A pause. And then a response from Jerome and Cutter, before cutting to black. From there, we would have Halo Wars 3 either filling in the time between Halo Wars 2 and Halo 6's ending, or continuing the story with more banished conflict, and then Halo 7 being the point where Halo Wars and the main series can join for a fight against the created. Hopefully they could work the flood in there somehow as well. So that's one way I see things happening. What do you all think? Good idea? Bad? What are your predictions? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching as always, and until next time, this has been Halo Canon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to give a like and consider subscribing and sharing this video around. Also consider subscribing to Loot Crate. By going to trylootcrate.com slash halocanon and using promo code BRIDGE10, you can save 10% on a new subscription to the base Loot Crate offering. Loot Crate is a monthly subscription box service for epic geek and gamer items and pop culture gear.